now we are discussing about another parameter that is power dissipation power dissipation of an ic decides how much long time that ic can work so the lifetime of that ic can be given by using this power dissipation what is this power dissipation if we take any digital logic circuit whether that is end gate or or gate any digital logic circuit how much power it draws from the supply we can give the supply from the dc voltage example this is vcc this is my digital logic circuit so when we supplied the dc voltage to this digital logic circuit how much current it is drawing so vcc into ic this is called power dissipation if the power dissipation of this ic increases then automatically that ic gets heated up so the lifetime of that ic will be decreased generally when we go for the market when we ask for the low power dissipation requirement device then that ic will work for long time there are three technologies cmos technology in the unipolar ttl ecl we have seen out of these three when your digital logic circuit is fabricated using the cmos then the power dissipation is very less this is in the range of 0.01 milliwatts so it takes a very less amount of supply power consumption is very less power dissipation is very less compared to cmos power dissipation of ttl is high compared to ttl ecl is power dissipation is very high we have discussed the propagation delay of ecl is very small but the power dissipation is very high okay now we have one question sir you said it is the amount of current because vcc is not changing we are giving the same amount of vcc the ic if the ic is changing then the power is changing automatically power dissipation now i have one question what is the time duration because i can give the vcc for 1 hour or 2 hours or 3 hours what is the time duration you are setting i am saying take one cycle so here one cycle what is this one cycle i am saying when we operate the digital logic circuit later you will come to know we fix one clock when we have some example this digital digital electronics time table you have one period from this time to this time similarly in that clock one cycle means example if it is one second in that one second you are turning on the ic for half second and you are turning off the ic for half second how much time the ic is in on condition half second how much time it is in off condition half second now we are calculating what is the amount of current that is drawn by the ic and we are substituting here the current then we are getting the power dissipation so it is the amount of the power that is drawn by the ic during the one duty cycle from where it is drawing that power from the supply it is drawing the power so power dissipation should be low or high low what happens if the power dissipation is very high the lifetime of the ic will be decremented it easily gets heated up okay generally so we expect the power dissipation should be very small